Hi, I thought I'd do a Lakeland type of scene today, or this afternoon. I'm just going to make, make it up really. I haven't done any drawing, my, my brush I forgot to clean the glue off. The, the glue that the water paint, watercolour paint is bound in, I think it's gum Arabic and if you leave it to dry in your brush it can be a bit tricky to get off, but it, it does come off. Right, I'll change my cloth. You need, need a lot of cloth when you're doing watercolour paint, but you need a lot of cloth for period. Right, okay. There's my big piece of cloth. There's my tray. The lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey and burnt sienna. So, they're Cotsman watercolours. I've always used them since uh, I first saw Ron Ranson videos and demonstrations and books. Which reminds me, one of my Ron Ranson books was with a friend, he's had it for quite a time and it all seems to get forgotten. Okay, so but a bit of warm, warm raw sienna in the sky as usual. We're going to have the, the, the light central. This just gives a unifying light in the sky. Right, okay. Now, some grey mixed with light red and ultramarine. Well, that's all wet. Right. There's my palette. Not running with water. It's all diluting in the richness of the of the water. On the paper, it, it helps to dilute. So nice and dark. So I get a bit dark there. So. What you put above, below. And we'll get a nice ready dark. While the paper's in this condition, you can more or less do whatever you want with it. And it dries with this lovely light going through the centre. Okay. Right, as that expands, we'll. Uh, Reclip the paper. Most of my landscapes are made up, especially the Welsh type ones. It's a long time since I've been in North Wales. I did go three years ago and we did the, uh, the canal over the River Dee, the Telford's Canal at uh, Aberystwyth, was it? Well, very, very nice, beautiful part of the countryside. And a bit further over you can see the Snowdonia. And most of my Welsh scenes seem to be centred on that. There's a great Welsh painter, he's dead now, Kathleen Williams, K-Y-F-I-A-N Williams, lived in Anglesey, and he painted mostly with a knife and oils. Wonderful, wonderful artist, great inspiration. Right, let's try and a bit, so we'll, we'll put a fairly low horizon and uh, with those colours, a bit of sienna in there as well. And we'll bit of blue in there. Warmer. A lot of mountains coming in from the left, I think. Plenty of burnt sienna in there.
Put some bread in there. Warm it up as we come come across here. Right, we're clear. We're clear. You see, you don't need to spritz your paper when you're working like this. This, this is the Fabriano, 130 pound. It's a, it's a great great piece of paper for Wesley Main. I get it from Grantham's art discount. Because it comes in great, great blocks, a hundred sheets. Okay. I'm going to lift out some some rocks in there. Paper's drying lovely now, it's all taking this lovely dry brush. Some just some pebble, pebbly rocks. I love doing this. Try to vary them, don't they're all looking the same, just little bits here. Okay, so that's that's enough on there. We will let's embellish some of this now. We'll get some lemon yellow in there. Mixing the burnt sienna with uh, the light red. Just put some detail in there with just a bit of lag. Put some dark over there on that horizon. A little blue in the mix. Right, no, no real uh, reflections on on there because it's so far away. The water will be wind ruffled. Okay, so that'll, that'll do. We need to do some texturing in some of this. I love this little, this burnt sienna. It makes it beautifully with the uh, ultramarine to make sort of rich dark blue greens. Okay, 
Not too loose. Let's put in some dry bars. In there. Right, okay. That will do. Clean the hake. Now, a bit of, bit of rigor work. That rigor, that's a number four. I think it's just a bit too long for the moment. I've used, I've got several others. This is a number, uh, I don't know what that one is. Anyway, I'll, I'll use it. We'll uh, just put in some, some little flicks. Bit of, just a bit of, bit of rocky stuff there, I think. Still taking some some of this dry brush. I mean, this scratching out. It's a very very effective technique, as you know. I use it an awful lot. Uh, let's just Just these little bits of twig just reflected underneath, just give an impression that, of that being a lot of water. We know it is, but, but by reflecting a little bit, you can create that, that strong impression that, that, that it is placid water. Okay, so there's not a lot I want to do there now. Let's take a little brush here and put a couple of boats in. I know nothing about boats, but no, no uh, prizes for guessing that I've just uh, watched Stephen Cronin's latest video. Have a look at it, it's great. Uh, he's just painted a lake scene, I've just painted a lake scene, but mine is totally different, so it's... The thing I, I, I can't really do is um, is just lifting out with a with a with a tissue. I should have made that a bit dark on the on the, on the edges, but uh, I still might. Yeah. Right, I think a couple of figures maybe. My little brush. Let's put it in. Right, me. 
Right, okay. Um, bit of tissue, lift out some sails on the distant shore. That would be a good place for one. So we've got to oh, that's it. Uh, No, I'm going to let that go. That looks okay. No, I'm going to dry it off and I'm going to just go over it. Probably ruin it. The idea is to is to wet it without moving the paint in the weight on the paper. So clean brush and just gently re wet. And then we'll go with some some harder. Rays, blue and red, usually blue and burnt amber. some in here. Right, okay. That's it. Let's uh, dry it off. Take your headphones off. I think we've uh, resurrected it somewhat. Let's uh, put some. Uh, ooh, oh no. Signature. Right, let's put it on now and see, see if we've improved it. Oh, right, there we are. I think, I think we've done quite well with that. We've got away with that. <coughs> we've lost the merging here, but uh, I think the sky looks more dramatic. Well, there we are. Let's go into that. One of these days I'm going to get a camera that I can pause in record. This is a Canon camcorder that I use. It's a small one, it's a lovely, lovely camera. My daughter gave it to me and it really performs well. Except that you can't stop in the, the video and, and carry on. It records, even when you pause it, it records in separate videos. And that would all have they'd all have to be knitted together, so I choose not to do that. Right, I'll go a bit further in there. Right. So there's my little man. Um, probably the bit of rope holding the boat to the shore is a bit flimsy. 
than my rocks. All adds a bit of interest on the shoreline. Down a bit more. Okay. That's it. Lakeland view. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.